सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू नेचर एंड नेचर बार सो एवरी वन हैव हॉर्ड अबाउट लाइक इस्तान बुल टर्किश टी टर्किश कबाब सो हियर आई हैव माई फ्रेंड फ्रॉम टर्किश एंड शी विल शेयर हर एक्सपीरियंस रिगार्डिंग द टर्किश कल्चर ट्रेडिशन एंड एवरी थिंग सो हेलो बिलगे हैव वन स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट यू Uh, I'm Bilge from Turkey. Uh, I studied in Istanbul and then came to Politecnico di Milano for uh, for my master's degree. Uh, I'm studying in the landscape architecture department with Sumant. Now. Yes. Uh, so now we are going to discuss about the Turkish culture and traditions. So first of all, uh, I want to start with the greetings. So for example, in India, we say Namaste as yeah. a greeting, which is a gesture. So what about Turkish people? Uh, we have two words. Uh, mm-hmm. We use Salam. Salam. Uh, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we have Merhaba. 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 Mm-hmm. Yes. What's the difference between Salam and Merhaba? Because even in India, the Muslims uh, they uh, say Salam to everyone. Uh, I think they both mean the same thing. Uh, salam comes from the Islamic religion, mm-hmm. uh, but maybe it's not very formal. Merhaba okay. is more formal. Okay, that's great. Mm-hmm. So now let's talk about the food and uh, all the things. So uh, mostly the Turkish kebab. It's like very famous all over the world. So, what is? Can you share something about Turkish kebab? Uh, yes. First of all, I want to fix a misunderstanding. Okay. Because in Europe, a uh, kebab mm-hmm. is uh, what they call kebab is actually a wrap for us. Okay. A uh, kebab uh, in Turkey is kind of a um, um, it's served in a dish, uh, for mm-hmm. example, on a plate. Mm-hmm. Um, the wrap thing is uh, what they call dürüm, actually. So it's the street. Food, the fast food, mm-hmm. uh, and kebab is in a in a restaurant. It's more fancy, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, the word kebab mm-hmm. is actually um, it means barbecue. barbecue. So mm-hmm. yeah, we actually have eggplant kebab, for example. Okay, so, so vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, uh, and the other thing is that what is the basic food for a uh, living? For example, in India, if you have like rice, uh, dal, and uh, chapati, roti. So mm-hmm. It's like basic food for everyone. So what is there for Turkish people? Uh, I think it's rice, rice, rice too, because we fill things with rice. For example, okay. the most famous things uh, foods are called uh, dolma, sarma, and mm-hmm. dolma is um, um, we dry the eggplants and the mm-hmm. peppers, the bell peppers, and we, mm-hmm. we fill rice in them. And uh, also the grape leaves, uh, we roll them. With grape the, leaves. Yeah, we roll mm-hmm. them with rice. And okay. that's like the, one of the famous foods. That's good. Okay, now let's talk about the uh, tea and the coffee because while I was searching about the Turkish and I found in the internet that Turkey is the uh, second largest consumer of tea, mm-hmm. and also I have seen that if you are t- taking tea uh, two or three times in a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the concept behind this tea and coffee? Uh, it's like an addiction, and mm-hmm. also uh, wherever you go, they serve you tea. It's like uh, a part of hospitality. In your your school, you have tea mm-hmm. breaks. It's oh, a tea breaks. Yeah, uh, we have like it's a part okay. of life. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the languages. So India, it have lots of languages in order to communicate with the people. We have more than twenty plus languages officially. So what about uh, Turkish? So what is your official language, and how many languages generally speaking? Uh, the official language is Turkish, and Turkish, it's mm-hmm. the only language that that, that is uh, spoken. So, if you know Turkish, you can roam everywhere in the Turkey. Yes, exactly. What about the English? Uh, English, um, Turkish people are not very good at English, mm-hmm. um, but they are really. Uh, if you're a tourist, they are really willing to help you, even though they speak like three words. Mm-hmm. They are always trying to help you. They check Google Translate or. Okay. They like actually foreign people. They like to communicate. Only for the foreign and traveling, the English is. Yeah. Uh, like okay, that. that's good. The, it means English is not a problem at all. If you don't know English, you can easily survive. Exactly. Yeah. That's great. If in India, if you don't know the English, it's very hard to find the jobs and uh, do the things etc. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, in Turkey, people use body language a lot. Like they are really warm people, and they try to explain themselves um, mm-hmm. without. language sometimes okay yeah that's good so now let's talk about some uh, cultural things like some festivals and also in india we have lots of festivals so i want to know i want to know from you like what mm-hmm. are some famous festivals from turkey uh, famous festivals uh, we don't have much festivals mm-hmm. but we have um, 
uh, religious uh, holidays. Religious ones, okay. Uh, for example, Ramadan. Ram um, yes, it is in India. Uh, yes, yeah, so we okay. have this uh, 30 days, uh, one month of fasting, and then after that we have three days of holidays. Okay. Uh, and then during those times uh, you have vacation from work, and mm -hmm. uh, you either visit your family or you go on vacation. Okay. Um, yeah, but okay. it's also called uh, the sugar feast. Sugar so fish. everyone buys sugars uh, to for their homes, and then you have to m go to your neighbor's house, and they have mm -hmm. they, they should give you sugar. Oh, sugar fish. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting. Uh, so now let's talk about the religions. Okay. <laughs> so as you know, in India we have like every religions, every every colors, and it's so. What is the major religion in your country? Uh, majority of people are Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually checked only 1% of Turkey is from other religions like oh, Jewish. 99% Muslims. Yeah, uh, exactly. So now uh, it's uh, totally different questions about sports. So <laughs> India we have many sports. So uh, do you know uh, some famous sports from Turkey? Um, football is really um, like famous. Popular. Mm -hmm. It's very popular and people are very fanatic uh, mm -hmm. about it. Um, and other than football? Uh, we have, um, that might be interesting for uh, Europeans, mm -hmm. uh, is the wrestling. Okay. Uh, yeah. But it's called the uh, oil wrestling in Turkish. I don't know, maybe it translates different in English. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a bit uh, folkloric. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's something cultural in some of the villages in Turkey. Uh, sometimes they organize feasts and they have um, these people that put olive in their bodies and then they mm. try to wrestle uh, okay with the oil with the oil oh. because it's hard to oh, okay. yeah. I, I want to show one picture regarding the sports and you have to just guess the name which kind of sports it is yes please can you guess mm. uh, it seems familiar is this cricket uh, yes yes yeah? you know yeah. cricket uh, yeah i've heard of it how when how how you heard about cricket um in the national TV, in some of the news, okay. I've seen, but I don't know the rules or anything. Okay, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Can you uh, suggest some top uh, tourist places in uh, Turkey, okay. apart from uh, Istanbul, because Istanbul everyone knows? Uh, sure. Uh, yes. There is Cappadocia. I don't know if you've heard. No. It's, um, it's in the center, central area of Turkey. Okay. Uh, and um, there are these uh, chimneys, like chimney shaped stones mm -hmm. uh, that happen because of physical conditions mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's famous for its hot balloons uh, in the sunrise, uh, very early in the morning, they, they start, you can either watch or you can just go inside um, that area is really famous and then Ephesus is uh, mm -hmm. next to Izmir, Smyrna and mm -hmm. um, it's also a popular place after Istanbul and it's um, it's an ancient city okay so yeah oh, I heard that Islamic countries they have special rules and regulations for the girls to wear the uh, different clothes and also mm -hmm. is, is such type of uh, rules and regulations are there uh, we don't have um, like about clothes we don't have any any, any rules okay because um when i was in erasmus i was living in in poland uh, and they they kept asking me if i wear the same clothes in turkey and stuff okay. um, but yeah like it's not everyone covers their heads mm -hmm. and um like we see very few people with burka if they cover their head it's usually like fashionable and stuff mm -hmm. So it's it's very it's different. It's different on the person. It's exactly. not any specific rules. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Yeah. So uh, now I want to test your knowledge about India. Okay. okay. <laughs> so the first thing is that first come in your mind when you think about India or, or when you heard about India. Uh, the Bollywood movies. Bollywood uh, movies. Um, you know? Yeah, yeah. Great. And also Amir Khan is really famous oh, in yes. Turkey. Really? He actually uh, came to a TV show, uh, the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire competition. He, okay. he came to the Turkish one. Oh, okay. and it, like his movie, like Three Idiots, mm -hmm. uh, Tarek Oman Park. That is a meal for Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are really famous. And actually, and there was another movie called Black. 
Maybe I'll show you later. Okay. Be I have not the fan of movies. Okay. Uh, because uh, they made the Turkish version of it. it was okay. They, they mm -hmm. the movie, and um, I I was reading a book about Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, maybe I can show the book. Um, so I would say Krishnamurti. Yeah. Good. It's in Turkish. <laughs> it was it a gift. Yeah. Uh, any uh, food or any culture and the festival from India or something? Um, I know there is like um, different temples because oh, yes. you have different uh, religion. Mm -hmm. So those I saw those temples, and um, I've heard weddings are quite fun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, quite fun means what do you mean? Like you dance a lot and uh, yes. it's usually more than one day. Yes, uh, yeah. it, it can last uh, two days, three days continuously. Mm -hmm. What yeah. about Turkey? Uh, it's usually like one night. One night. Yeah, and we dance a lot too, but it's just okay. uh, like a reception. Okay, yeah. so now I will show you some pictures. Mm -hmm. So maybe you have to comment or you have to guess according to the pictures. So, coming from the food so can you guess uh, what is this food um, I don't know it looks like a crispy dumpling okay it is a um, samosa okay I don't know it is a kind of snacks uh, this one oh it's the first time I'm seeing this first time okay um, can you guess whether it is sweet or hot uh, it looks like uh, something sugary Yes, you're right. <laughs> yes, yes, it is sugary sweet. It's called jalebi. Jalebi. Okay. okay. Now, you have to tell about the sports. So, uh, have you seen him anywhere? Uh, this is Mahatma Gandhi. Oh, that face. How do you know? Um, he's a um, very important uh, philosopher, thinker, like yes, a yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Yeah. So. Good. Yes. yes. Good day. <laughs> him? This guy? No, I don't know. You don't know? Mm -mm. Is uh, Sundar Pichai, mm -hmm. the CEO of uh, Alphabet, oh. Google. Okay. It's from him. Also, this vegetable. Uh, this one? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. uh, have you seen somewhere? No, it's the first time I'm seeing it. <laughs> it is the bitter god. Oh. So the name is bitter, so it is bitter in taste. Mm -hmm. And it is very famous. It is, it is like a more healthiest food, vegetable, healthiest vegetable. Mm -hmm. So those people who have like, um, uh, what we call, those who have like sugar level diabetes. Mm -hmm. So it is very good for the diabetes person. Oh, okay. Is it uh, very accessible? Mm. Yes, everywhere it is, it is common. Can you guess what is this? Mm, no idea. It looks like a fungus. Like a Fungus? Yeah. Do you know? Uh, like um, mushrooms. <laughs> Actually, it is a fruit. Uh, okay. It's a jackfruit. Oh. The fruits are too big. And inside, uh, it has a, a ball like a yellow color fruit. So you have to eat that and you can also make curry. All these are fruits. Uh, so curry comes from... Yes, place. yes. Okay. When it is uh, unripe, you can make the curry. Or when it's ripe, you can eat it. Okay. And uh, guess, can you comment on this picture? Um, it's a street food. Okay. I think. Is it like a pastry? No. Actually, this is uh, called pani puri. Oh, okay. So girls love it. <laughs> so whenever in India, uh, whenever someone says pani puri, so it's some oh, in mouth. The water will come automatically in the mouth. So it's like very famous, especially for girls. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I think. Uh, okay. So I think we have uh, covered all the things. So at the end, you uh, you want to share something special about Turkey? Um, it's it's a very beautiful and diverse country, <laughs> and uh, I think it's one of the best places to visit because you can see so many different um, backgrounds and cultures mm -hmm. influence. And I believe it's really like um, a bridge between Europe and, uh, and uh, Asia. 
Exactly. Yes, I have heard also that it is like it's a very interesting introduction about Turkey with you, Bill Gates. So thank you so much for uh, giving your valuable time and sharing your experience about Turkey. Thank you for okay. having me. <laughs> okay. So bye bye.